Hello, my name is Thomas Donick, and uh, I would like to introduce today our EDI. Uh, this is one of the modules we offer. Uh, this is industrial module called Ampure Fertic 6, used for semiconductor industry and mainly for power industry for preparation of ultra pure water for boilers. Uh, this module is one of three modules that we offer to our customers. Uh, this is MPU 36 with flow rate up to 15 cubes per hour. We offer two another modules, MPU 12 and MPU 6 with flow rates starting from 0 0.8 cubes per hour to 2.5 cubes per hour for MPU 6 and from 2.5 to 5 for MPU 12 or 4.9 to be exact. This is standard EDI module for preparation of ultra pure water. So uh, you can see one inlet, one outlet, two concentrates. So that can be um, installed either a co-current or in counter-current setup. And you can see one uh, electrode out solution. We have also easy electrical connection, uh, male, female, you plug in electrical connection, secure it, and it is done. What are the advantages of our EDI modules? So this is industrial module up to 15 cubes per hour. But 15 cubes per hour is uh, not so sufficient for large installations. So we have to build system with higher number of modules. The big advantage of MPU 36 is that you don't connect each module separately, but you interconnect them together. So if you have connection for each module that would be in parallel next to each other, you would need to have a lot of connections, you would need to uh, have a large system, you would need to have a lot of control, and even in that way it's not fully stable. But what we have over here is these connections, and these connections are also on the another side of the module. So we are talking about connections in front and in the back of the module. What do we do? We place the module one after each other and we interconnect them together. So I'm not connecting each of them separately, but I'm connecting them one after each other. In this way, I reduce the number of connections by reducing the number of connections. I'm speeding up the construction module, I am saving on interconnected materials, and I am providing this benefit to our customer. Also, these modules are frameless. So basically, I don't have to build or introduce any frame which, where I would put this module inside or something like that. Uh, they are built or designed to withstand its weight, meaning uh, I can put them on top of each other. This bottom piece of the module fits on the upper piece. So exactly as you can see it over here, you can put one, one on top of each other and you just secure it in installation by screw. So uh, why to apply uh, EDI instead of mix bed or ion exchange column uh, for ultra pure water production? This is membrane technology, so it provides continuous product quality all over the time. It doesn't work in batch. Uh, the quality is always stable. The best way how to run this technology is actually to run it 24-7. EDI from the principle uh, of its function does not require chemicals. So uh, comparing to ion exchange column, we have technology that uh, requires no chemicals for operation and minimum chemicals for chemical cleaning. So we are talking about CIP cycle once per year, maybe two times per year, depending on the quality of fee water. Uh, also, because in EDI, we do not regenerate the ion exchange resin with chemicals, it can be quite small. So as you can see, one impure module, one cube like this can produce uh, 15 cubes per hour uh, of ultra pure water, which is quite a lot comparing ion exchange resin. EDI does have ion exchange resin, but the principle of its function is that you, we do not regenerate by chemicals, but by using DC electrical field, we split 
H2O to H plus and OH minus ions and regenerate ion exchange resin continuously. And this is the entire principle of EDI and this is why these modules can be small and uh, in continuous operation. Also these modules, because of its size, as you can see, it's cube and it's quite modular. I can, uh, I can uh, build large systems using a number of EDI modules. I can easily do redundancy. I can build one small system next to it. I can build a redundancy into the system itself. And also this module is uh, environmental friendly because we don't use any chemicals. This electrically driven process, we use only minimum of electricity. So uh, we use about uh, 0.1 kilowatt hours per cube of produced water or lower depending on your feed water quality and product water quality. And chemical cleaning is done usually once or twice per year. Comparing to ion exchange resin, the operating expenditures for EDRs are quite small and investment cost is comparable or lower as well. What is the difference between co-current and counter-current uh, settings in, in electrodeionization? The difference is when the flow of feed or tiroate and concentrate inside of these modules flows together along the membrane. So what is happening is that the feet and concentrate are on the one side and both of them flows together on, uh, to the outlets and goes out. Countercurrent is when my feet is here and my concentrate goes against, against the countercurrent. So what is happening is that I feed it here, I feed it here, and basically these two flows against each other. Countercurrent is used for applications when uh, we have high hardness or for applications when you want to have uh, less uh, chemical cleanings. Cocurrent is used for applications when I have a lot of silica or a lot of boron and I want to squeeze a couple of percent of uh, desalination more. Another supply together with EDI modules and accessories are DC rectifiers. Uh, we supply one DC rectifier to each uh, EDI module. This is because we want to control each module uh, separately and we want to have possibility to get as much of each module as it is possible. Uh, these are switch mode power supplies, so it's a new type of DC drives, it's low ripple, very high efficiency, and uh, also you don't need any additional equipment like transformers when you build your DC cabinet. These power supplies comes together with EDI communication modules. Uh, communication modules are used for various type of uh, communications, uh, RS, 385, analog, and others. Each EDI module Living Mega is coming with its own certificate. So uh, here what we can see is standard desalination test. We do test each module for uh, 40 microsiemens sodium chloride. In order to pass the test, uh, module has to uh, reach at least 16 uh, mega ohm resistivity. Uh, these modules are also pressure tested. So first is desalination test, the second is pressure test. Each of the module is tested on A bars, even though the limitation for EDI modules for operation is seven bars, but the test is for eight. And uh, the last test is visual test. So the last test that we are uh, doing is uh, visual check if everything is right before it leaves the company. So um, always when you buy Ampure uh, 36 module or any EDI module from Mega, it is coming in a wooden packaging. So um, what, what does it mean? Uh, we will provide you our module on pallet with wooden box screwed into the pallet. 
the wooden box is the protection against damage during the transportation. It's heat treated, it's not stackable, and it's uh, protection against all the environment that can happen during the transportation. Ampure modules are screwed to the pallet that they cannot move during the transportation, and they are wrapped um, to the foil to prevent any possible contact with the box. For DC rectifiers, it's usually uh, packaged separately in a box, in wooden, also in this wooden box if it is for a larger project, or in a paper box and it is attached on top of each box. Modules and DC rectifiers, we also supply accessories. These accessories goes together for the uh, entire project with a different box. For interconnecting of Ampure modules, either to the uh, EDI system or one module to another module, we need certain accessories. First, uh, the Ampure modules usually comes with these caps. These are transportation caps only. So um, for the time of the transportation, the module has to be watered or at least there has to be some moisture inside that the ion exchange membranes does not dry and these caps are just to keep moisture in. For the operation you require so-called working caps and these are caps that can withstand certain pressure so um, when I have end of the module or I, I have to enclose it uh, in the installations I require these caps. Another accessories is for connection of each line. So we have connection for diluate the and feed line that is screwed from the back uh, of the module to the corresponding inlets and or outlets. The same for electrode stream. Uh, Ampure 36 modules are connected by Victaulic couplings. So why do we do it? So basically when we want to connect it to the system or when we want to uh, connect it together, what we do is we have to screw this uh, into the module and basically when I want to couple it with another uh, pipe, I use the Victaulic coupling. We use Victaulic couplings because uh, it allows us a bit of movement between two pipes and this is exactly because of these uh, rubber parts inside and we the, the, the two pipes doesn't have to be exactly aligned one to each other and it's easier uh, for the installations. Outside of that the part of the accessories is a sampling valve and this is for uh, control of your product up on the diluate side, on the product side, so it's just easy simple sample valve that will allow you to take a sample. And the last is uh, are these lugs. So this, these are stainless steel standard uh, lugs and I am using them for manipulation of, uh, of the module. So what I, what I would do, they fit here on top. You just put some part of the hardness through the lug and uh, lift it up by crane or by something else. Why I need lugs? Well, uh, in theory you don't. You can uh, manipulate also uh, with some other accessories, but the module itself has around 350 kilos, so uh, you need some, uh, something for, for manipulation.